And tomorrow is the exact, October 22nd, the exact day you guys won the 1986 World Series 25 years ago. This is the 25th anniversary celebration. Barry Lyons, thank you so much for joining us live. We're broadcasting live thanks to Teradek Cube, by the way. But thank you for joining us here. And what's the journey been like for you since that World Series? Well, it's been a lot of highs and a few lows, but uh, just reliving and seeing all the guys from the 86 team, it's an amazing event, amazing weekend, and uh, uh, I couldn't be happier about just getting with everybody. It's an awesome deal, and thanks to Daryl and, and Mead and everybody that was responsible for getting us all here together, uh, I'm thrilled to be here. Talk about what it means to get back with the guys, to talk with them. I know you guys went to dinner last night when everybody got in, and you guys are just, you know, get to relive old memories, but also catch up with each other's lives. Right. Well, we're, we're all best friends. I mean, that was the, the Mets team back then. And I know it's a little different now. It's a little more business-like and et cetera. But uh, back then, uh, we, we, we picked each other up. We were all buddies. We uh, hung out together, had a blast on the field and off the field. But uh, uh, it's so great to see these guys. We, we get together every now and then, but to see everyone, it looks like we got a pretty uh, substantial amount of guys here from that team that had some part of the 86 team, and it's great to see everyone. What were your thoughts when Orozco threw that final strike? Well, that was uh, obviously a very glorious moment in the, in the New York Mets history, and a moment that I'll never forget. I was unfortunately injured and what, not in uniform, but I was there and in the clubhouse and uh, enjoyed the, the, the whole festivities of uh, the after, with, after party and stuff. But uh, now to, to, to uh, win that World Series and come back after being down in game six like we did and like the Mets did, uh, it was certainly a, a glorious day. As, as a Mets fan, I'm probably biased here, but it, 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 to me, it was the most exciting World Series I've ever seen. I don't disagree. It was my first ever World Series, and I wish I was in uniform, and I wish I would have had a chance to play, but I didn't. But still in all, to be a part of it and, and know that this was my teammates and this was the guys that I went to work with every day for years and years uh, to get better and to compete and to, to strive for something of that nature to win the World Series and then to have it come through was a major uh, awesome feeling. And well, we, I just moved because they're setting up the food and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it was. And, and I, you know, you guys were a wild team. Do you remember the guy who parachuted into Shea Stadium? Because that just went on, on the TV. They just showed that again. And it, it seems like it was so fitting of the Mets. Well, it's typical. Uh, yeah, very fitting. Uh, I was actually up in the radio booth that, at that time with Bob Murphy. Uh, when uh, the parachuter came down, because I made my rounds, I was, like I said, injured and not in uniform. So, uh, but I was in the radio booth with Bob Murphy when uh, that guy came down, and all of us were just shocked to see this this presence come down out of the sky. Because you know, there's overhang there, and we couldn't really see him from above. We didn't see him until he was just about to land, and uh, quite shocking. But uh, definitely a New York Met thing, and. Uh, I don't know the guy's name. I, I'm assuming he's still around, but that was a, a unique moment for uh, Mets baseball and for him, I'm sure. Now, what have you what have you been up to since the '86 World Series? Obviously, you went on to a great baseball career, but what what about uh, now off the field? Personally, what do you do? What are you up to? Where are you living? Well, I'm I grew up in Biloxi, Mississippi, and moved back there a few years after I retired and uh, got wiped out by Hurricane Katrina. Uh, oh in 2005 and had a rough go for a while but uh, things are very good I'm uh, helping my community and my hometown uh, recover from this and uh, doing a, a number of things involving sports of all sports but particularly baseball and kids that's what I do mostly is teach and work with kids but uh, I still have hope to get back in the organ in uh, the Mets organization uh, I, I want to get back on the field, get back in uniform, going back to the uh, Mets fantasy camp last January in Florida really kind of lit the fire under me again to want to wanna get back in. So I'm hoping to get back in, but right now I, I've got a good situation in my hometown. Excellent. It sounds like you're doing great things. What about your family? How's, how's your family? How's it grown? How's it changed? 
Well, it's changed quite a bit since Katrina, and uh, I, had, I had a lot of loss, uh, parents, a brother, and numerous different difficulties uh, after the Katrina. So it was a rough road for a while, but things are really moving in a positive direction, and I have a 14-year-old daughter that's doing awesome, and I'm really proud of her. But life is good. you got to keep bouncing back, and uh, you get knocked down, you got to get up again. And... Uh, that's what the game of baseball taught me uh, is how to be resilient, how to be confident in yourself, and how to fight through adversity. And uh, I'm very appreciative and thankful for the game of baseball and for being a part of the Mets organization. It was a great time to be a Met when I was here. Well, I, I just told Kevin Mitchell that that's what you Mets helped remind New York about was resiliency and, and keep fighting and taught, uh, you know, us kids. I was a kid at the time, so taught us kids. Um, I'm sorry you had such loss. I, I think what's most interesting about that, though, is that, you know, you guys are regular people at the end of the day who go through the same things that we go through. And, I, you know, I think that people forget that and they, and they lose sight of that. And, you know, to hear your story is so surprising to me, but it shouldn't because there are so many people who were devastated by Katrina, you know, and it's, I'm glad that you were able to survive that and fight back, and I'm sorry for your loss. Well, thank you. Uh, it's It's been a, a tough road to recovery, but I was in survival mode for a couple of years or three years or so, but we're now just past our sixth anniversary of Katrina. Good things are happening on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. I'm very proud to be from there. Uh, I'm doing everything I can to, to help the, the uh, coast recover, uh, and I my goal is to eventually get minor league baseball there, and we were close to making that happen prior to Katrina so it is still something that I'm very passionate about I played minor league ball I've managed minor league ball I've broadcasted minor league ball I love my baseball and love professional baseball I'd love to be in the major league level as a coach or an instructor of some sort but <clears throat> minor league baseball is where it all starts and, and I had a tremendous time in my days doing it and I want that for my hometown and that's my biggest goal moving forward Barry Lyons, thank you so much. It's great to see you, you and see you doing well. I hope that you do get a minor league baseball team in New Orleans. I think it would be great uh, on the Mississippi. I think tourism is finally coming back. And as you said, it's nice to see that the rebuilding is, is really taking shape now. So this is the 1986 Mets 25th anniversary party celebration at Strawberry's Grill in Douglaston, New York. A big member of the 86 Mets, Barry Lyons, just joined us, and we'll have a lot more when we come back. We've got some videos for you to watch in the meantime. I'm Michael Artsis. Stay with us.